Hello, in this video I am going to explain how to implement a database using Microsoft Access. Consider the following scenario, where we have a DVD rental shop that requires a simple database system that consists of three tables. A table to store the DVD's information, a table to store the member's information, and that able to store the DVD loans that members take from this DVD shop. So, I am going to start this example by first implementing the tables separately. Then, I will link the tables together to form the relationships. Then, I will populate the tables with some information. And then finally, we will be able to use the complete database. So I am going to open Access. I will do a blank database, which I am going to call DVD. Shop. And click on create. I am going to start with the members table. Since here we have already a table partially created, I am going to click on the design view button and I am going to name the table members. Now here I am going to write the required attribute, so member ID, as you can see here it is already set as primary key, and I am going to leave it as a number. Then I am going to write the name for the member, which is short text, and I am going to make it 50 as field size, the same for the surname. The date of birth, which I will set as date and time, and the format is going to be medium date. The phone number, since in Malta uh, our telephone numbers are eight digits long, I am going to set it to short text. It is very important that telephone numbers, we always do them as short text and not as numbers, and I am going to set the length to 8. However, I am going to do an input mask so that the user will only be able to type in digits. So I will write 8 zeros to represent that the telephone number should be made up of only 8 digits. The email address is short text, which I will make it 100 as length and the postal address I am going to set it to 200 in this case the members table is done so I am going to close the table and obviously save it now I am going to do the other table, which is the DVD table. So I will go on create table. Immediately I will switch to design view and name this table DVDs. I am now going to do the attribute, so DVD ID, which will be auto number and primary key, the film title which will be short text and I will make it 30. Rating, which I am going to leave as short text and make it um, 20. The genre, 
which I am going to make it short text 20. But then I am going to make it as a lookup list because the genre um, uh, can be selected from a predefined list to make it as a lookup list. Once we have set it to short text and adjusted the field size, we can click there and click on lookup wizard. Here we can choose that we will type the values that we want and here we can write the value. So action, comedy, drama, fantasy, horror, mystery, romance, and for example, thriller. I will click on next and finish. And that is the genre. Then we have director, which is short text. We can make it 50. Release date, which is obviously date and time. And I am going to, going to set it to medium date. The main actors, which I am going to leave short text and leave it to 155. If you want, you can add the loan price, which I am going to make as currency, and the currency format, I'm going to choose it Euro. And finally, the shelf mark, which I will make as short text, but the field can be easily reduced to 10. So the DVD stable is done as well. I am going to close and save it. The last table that is required is the loan stable. And to do the loan stable, I'm going to go on create table, change to design view, and I'm going to call this loans. Now remember that the loans table is going to be used to link and create relationships with the other tables. So the foreign keys that are going to be used to link to other tables should have the data type that matches. So let's start. I'm going to do the primary key loan ID, which is an auto number. Then I'm going to do a DVD ID as a foreign key. Now, since this is going to be linked to the DVD, to the DVD ID in the DVD stable, and the DVD ID in the DVD stable is not a number, here it has to be a number. The same applies for the member ID. And I'm going to add the date of loan, which is date and time, and the date of return, which is date and time. These two date and times, I'm going to set them to medium date. So the loan stable is done as well. I'm going to close it and save it as long stable. So in this video, I have showed you how to create three tables from scratch and set the required properties. In the next video, I will show you how to do the relationships between these three tables.